Mm. We got the goods! Oh, it's not supposed to sound hollow, is it? I can't get Roman's holiday out of my head. You know that. <laughs> oh my god, the frigging gas. Okay. No. Good morning. Welcome back to another video. Hi, little chickens. So, I thought I would daily vlog today. They were daily vlog. Of course, I'm not doing anything interesting. We're still in a lockdown. I did actually less at all. Not the broken shelf and the black smoke on the wall. Anyway. <laughs> I did actually film like a, a little vlog, a daily vlog like two weeks ago. Maybe like a, no, like two weeks ago and I went to edit it and the sound was fucked. I couldn't use any of the footage and I was so upset because it was a really good video and I couldn't use any of it and I was so upset. But we're gonna go again today. We just have to keep trying. We have to keep trying and that's all we can do. So I'm gonna clean my bedroom. I'm gonna make my bed. And I'm gonna go on a little walk. We're gonna go to Aldi together. I need to get a few bits. The sun is shining. So yesterday was really nice weather, like the first day of really nice weather we've had. I don't really know how warm it was, but apparently some places have got 24 degrees, which is crazy. Come with me on my little day. Let's do it. Also absolutely buzzing my titties off because I came on my period today and I was a week and a half late. <laughs> I was like, where are you, where, where, where are you, babe? I'm waiting for you, you're not coming, where are you? And she was like, I'm here. Attendance, yes, I'm here. I let go of shame. Others, judgments. Do not define me. Mm. The other day I wrote out some affirmations for April. Can you believe we're in April already? That to me is crazy. We're in the fourth month of the year already. But I feel like January, February, March, March really flew by. But this year so far, then again, we've had nothing to do. So like what well, i mean why wouldn't it fly by because we can't do anything or go anywhere but i'm so excited because things are gonna open soon it's gonna be so good i'm very very excited and also i've got something really exciting coming i don't know if i told you guys oh no i said it in my last vlog where the audio was messed up and i couldn't use it but i've said it on instagram but i might as well tell you guys i'm moving so i am moving in may um to manchester so i'm moving in may and i'm so excited and i'm moving in with a friend and it's gonna be amazing and i'm so excited i think my time at this flat has just like come to an end and i feel like you know what it is about this place and like these past couple years of my life so in may i have lived here for two years and obviously i moved in here with like my ex-boyfriend and this that was a whole reason for moving in here so like this place does like hold memories and i think um i'm just ready to leave this chapter of my life behind like these past couple of years have been so difficult i feel like i was broken as a person and i built myself back up in this place and now i feel like i've actually healed a lot from everything that's happened and i'm ready to go on to the next chapter it's like really it's more deep than that and i feel like i'm gonna do some moving vlogs so don't worry i'm gonna do some moving vlogs and i feel like i'll touch on it more in there but i think this um leaving this house is like more than just moving house to me it's quite symbolic in the way of like look at me just like scrubbing my eyes with the eye cream quite symbolic in the way of like um yeah like leaving behind this chapter of my life that's been really difficult i'm moving on to something better and something fresh and something new and i'm so excited so excited so excited so actually let me tell you what i'm using on my face i've just used a little skin proud i love a spray just to wet the skin so this is skin proud refreshing hydrating face mist then i went in with the paula's choice bha liquid exfoliant i've been slacking on my skincare so 
that's what's been going on but i like this i like it a lot i have like quite dull skin at the moment so this is like good for like brightening it up i wouldn't use it every single day maybe like every other day um especially if you have sensitive skin and then i've just used the ren brightening dark circle eye cream i really like this it's quite expensive but i do really like it um and i have been having dark circles and i, I mean i don't know if it's helping is it helping or is it because i'm getting more sleep who knows my favorite lip balm glossierbalm.com i'm going to use a vitamin c then i'm going to use an oil that's my combo at the moment a vitamin c and just a facial oil for hydration i was using hyaluronic acid but i don't know why i stopped using it there's no reason i do still really like it my skin are probably better if i still used it but we move and then i'm gonna do the murad essential c moist day moisturizer this has spf in it because i'm going on a walk and it's sunny so there very excited also a little bit stressed me and my mum started packing up the flat um at the weekend and it's looking a little bit bare bones like i'm moving in four weeks so i know it seems like a lot of time but i i don't we don't want to leave everything to last minute i mean you know me guys like, i leave everything to last minute and i just don't want to be stressing at the end i also feel like i want to i'm gonna get um movers i need to put that on my to do list actually because i just don't want to have to cart everything like about I think it'd be a, a lot more stress-free if I get people into move, but fucking hell, movers are expensive. Alice got some quotes for me. Alice, like 500 pounds. Is that the normal price? Like 400, 500 pounds? Because I'm not used to this life. But then again, I think my mum's like, it's literally worth, and my mum's cheap, right? She doesn't spend money on like nothing. She's like, it's worth every penny for not having the stress of like doing it yourself. <laughs> And both of my parents, like, they're not that able, like, to help. So, um, yeah. And I just hate to burden people and be like, can you help me? So maybe I'll just do the movers. Maybe I'll just do the movers. It's good to have a moisturiser with the SPF in because you're just killing two birds with one stone. Two birds with one... Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, this feels so luxurious and nice. This is my outfit. This is today's outfit. So, this jumpsuit is actually old, but it's from Reb Dolls. They're an American brand. If you've never like gone on their website before, go on their website because the set, hello. The sizing they do is incredible and the stuff is like super like well fitting. I need to do another order. I had an order from them in like 2018, but I think the stuff is amazing. So, this jumpsuit from Reb Dolls. My shoes are just Oswego's. They don't go with my outfit, but they're comfy for walking. These earrings. Oh, I actually bought these as a sample for all body. Maybe they'll come. Do you want to see us do jewellery on all body? Because you guys know I love a, an earring. And these are gold plated. And they're, they're just really cute. I don't know. Let me know. This necklace is Image Gang. And it says, sweet one. <laughs> so I'm going to wear my new all body zip up hoodie. And it's going to be a cute little fit. Let me go and get it and show you. So this is with the hoodie. You really, this kind of blends in. But the back has this all body, like university kind of motif. You can see. Yeah. So it has like this motif here. These are dropping, well, I think this video will be up before they drop. They're dropping on Friday, which will be the 2nd of April. 11 a.m. British summertime. So this is dropping the new all body joggers with across the, bo the bum. There's a lilac t-shirt dropping that says you are wonderful and like the little smile print. That's dropping along with the baby blue sweatshirt with baby pink writing. Yeah, and then the week after that, if you've seen, we're working on like sand colour with chocolate writing. That's going to come the week after that. But anyways, yeah. I'm really happy with this drop. I'm really proud of it. It's like, you remember we did the university stuff like last year? This is like the uni 2.0. That's what I'm calling it. The uni 2.0 because it feels like an elevated version. I'm so happy with it. And I think like, I don't know, my outfits at the moment are just giving me like cool girl vibes. Do you know what I mean? I just feel like a cool girl, like a Pinterest girl. Like, yeah. But make it accessible for all people. That's my vibes at the moment. Guys, I'm on my walk and I just remembered I forgot my mask. So I can't even go to Aldi because I don't have my mask. I hate it. I hate when this happens. It's happened to me so many times now and I'm just so sick of it. So I'm gonna have to go on my walk, then come back home and then take the car to go to Aldi because I'm not fucking walking there again. F that. Straight from the walk into the car to go to Aldi. Let's go, but I have a little glow on. That's cute. Let's go. Okay, I'm thinking about getting a watermelon, but I don't know what the best one is. Isn't there like a way of figuring out the best one? Doesn't it have marks on it or something? This one will be all right. 
I just can't come to the supermarket and get what I came for. Like, I have to end up getting other things as well. So, I might get some chocolate or some cookies because I know I'm going to be craving later because I'm on my period. So, what are we going to get? This is my weapon of choice. I'm going to get salted pretzel chocolate. See, I didn't come for that, 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 but here we are. Tuna, squash. I'm going to buy a fruity cider because that, whenever the weather gets nice, everyone drinks fruity cider. Peach and mango. Okay, I am well in need of a coffee now and I haven't had my morning coffee. And I do have a coffee machine at home, but because I had to walk all that way, well, walk, I'm, I was going on a walk anyway, but because I went on a walk and, you know, I, I forgot my mask, I had to go home and I had to come in the car. I'm going to the car, so drive through, best believe I am. Mm. Oh my God. That ice cold water just hits differently. So we're going to Costa drive through. Let's go. I tell you what, people must have the same idea as me because the Costa drive through is ramping. Look at everyone. Go on, boys and girls. I like this that we're spending the day together, you know, because I think I've had this thing in my head. Oh, we're moving forward. Bear with. I think I had this thing in my head for ages where I was like, oh, I, I was looking for perfection with all my videos. And it was like, instead of just me putting the camera on and vlogging and like talking about my day and just spending the day with you guys, like, I was like, no, it's not, it's not good enough. Like, blah, 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 people aren't gonna like it. And it's like, I think we've established by this point that you guys are here because you like me. So whatever I do, I think you're gonna like it, you know? And I think I just need to start picking up the camera more and just doing little day vlogs because I really enjoy them. And I think they're just very relatable, personable, all that stuff. But I was just like, no, it needs to be perfect. It needs to be this, that, and the third. Not that my videos are perfect anyway, but you know what I mean? It has to be like a proper video with a proper cause. Sometimes just vlog your life, babes. Oh my God, it's what's next. I can't get Roman's holiday out my head. You know that. <laughs> Welcome to the drive-thru. Can I take your order, please? Hi, can I have an iced latte with almond milk, please? An iced latte with almond milk, lovely. Any syrup or anything in that for you? No, that's it, please. That's lovely. Drive on for Thank me, Thank you. Please. Yeah, baby. I kind of also want to do like some drive videos. Like, should we? Should I get like a proper tripod for my camera and we can do like a drive with me and we can do a bit of karaoke? Because you know I've got the bag in playlist. But then again, I'll get copyrighted and then I won't be able to pay for my rent, so. <laughs> we got the goods. We got the goods. I'm gonna pull up in the under. Oh, baby. I kind of like when they don't mix it because it looks cute, but we're gonna have to mix that. But I can't, I can't use two hands at once on drawing thing. I love this angle for me. I really need to get the camera, the car tripod, but I was trying to find one and they all looked really complicated. And like, it looked like it's gonna be on my car. Like, I don't want something, some tripod sticking off my windscreen forever. This is a nice car. I don't want some shit sticking off the windscreen. I wanna be able to take it on and off. If any of you have got like a camera, car, tripod thing, or if you know a good one, let me know. I think I'm gonna have to buy one that sticks to the windscreen. Let me put the window up. I think I'm gonna have to buy one that sticks to the windscreen because I think that's gonna be the best. And people are gonna stare at me, but that's fine because I'll zoom off in one second and they'll never see me again in their lives. There's something about, see, I knew this before I got it, but you know what? It's still gonna be enjoyable, but, oh, he was cute, but he had a child. Let me be your stepmama. There's something about um, Costa's almond milk. And I think it's the same with like all the, the thing is I have a thing, I don't like Starbucks soya milk and I don't like Costa's almond milk, something like that. But I can't, I always forget which one I don't like and which one I do like. So, so I drink unsweetened, all of them things, right? And I think that the coffee shops use sweetened milk or no, sorry, they use the original milk and I buy the unsweetened milk. And oh, sir, what are you doing? They, mm, this actually tastes real good today. They buy the unsweetened, um, no, they buy the, the original and I don't like it because it's too sweet. Like I used to have syrups, whoa, whoa, whoa. I used to have syrups in my coffee and stuff, but I don't have that stuff anymore. And I think I'm just used to a drink not being sweet. So I don't really like sweet drinks. So even the milk, like having sweetness in it, I'm like, I can taste it. This is kind of delicious today though. Costa slapped. Costa really, yeah. 
Costa did the thing today. Mmm. The coffee tastes extra coffee. I love that. Because you know sometimes you drink a coffee and it just tastes like fucking milk. Back on the big cam now. So, let's do that Aldi haul. Ugh. You know I had to take my reusable bag with me. Oh my god, the friggin' gas. Okay. Aldi, I've had these at the moment and I love it because they're my favourite crisps. I know that's a bit far to say, but I just think, ooh, it just makes me feel healthy. Like, not, <sighs> it just makes me feel healthy when I eat them because I'm like, oh, but it's made out of friggin' lentils. It's gotta be healthy. So, I mean, <laughs> eat real. I like them. These are my favourite, the hummus chips. So, at Aldi at the moment, go and get them, babes. They've got the eat real multi pack and the hummus big bags. These, if you've never tried these, so good. The lentil chips are also really good. Lovely. We got some mango. I don't usually buy mango from the supermarket pre-cut because it's hard. So hard and horrible, but you know, I thought it's a bit sunny. I deserve a bit of mango today. Toothpaste, tuna, razor head. So, right, I went to, why have I got a story for everything? Well, I went to um, Boots recently. And I thought, well, let me just go to Boots and get some ni nice new stuff, right? And I got one of these razors and I've forgotten what it's called. I've forgotten its name, but it was like a real fancy razor. It's only about 15 quid, but it's fancy, like rose gold handle, like nice and heavy. Like you change the little razor heads yourself and this, that, and the other. Because I notoriously only use men's razors because I just feel like they get the closest shave. Like with shaving, I've got a love-hate relationship with it. I shave my legs and I shave my underarms, but like I have strawberry skin on my legs and I really need to just get a routine in place where I'm exfoliating more because I get a lot of ingrown hairs or hairs that just grow inwards and I think it's because my skin is quite dry um, and my, all of my body, my skin has always been dry. So I just need to like really get that exfoliation in there and moisturization. So that's gonna be a main thing coming up in my life, I hope. I say this, but you know. Um, I bought these razors, this fancy, fancy razor for women and blah, 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 and it's supposed to be really good, but my pet peeve right when you shave it in because look i don't shave every day like i'm i mean you're lucky if you get me once every two three weeks do you know what i mean like when i shave this hair there so when i'm rinsing it under the tap like to get rid of the hair or like putting it in the say i put like um water in the sink you know putting the razor in there to get the hair off the hair wasn't coming off and there's nothing more frustrating than that like it's so aggravating like hair come off like and, you know it's stuck in there and then you can't get a clean shave and it was doing my head in and it was doing it a lot and like to the point where I can't use it and I hate it. And so I just literally went to Aldi and bought a razor a few weeks ago and it was really good. But I think the key is with like shaving to shit, like change the heads like constantly, like very often. At least after, if you've used it one or two times, so you're doing your whole body like legs, arms, whatever else, just swap the head out because that's what's going to give you a clean shave and, you know, not irritate your skin, I think. I don't know. But, so I just got basically, I used this Aldi razor and I really liked it. So I got some more heads for the Aldi razor. That was a long story, but yeah, I just can't wait for the wax shops to reopen because I mean, I've shaved during the lockdown, but like, I'm more so a trim, do you know what I mean? It's been like, she's been free and flowing. Like I just give her a little haircut. I haven't shaved close to the skin because that's traumatic for her and she dislikes it very much. I got some chicken slice. This seems excessive, doesn't it? All this chicken. But I'm trying to get in a lot of protein at the moment. Like me and Andy, my PT. Um, I'm like, yeah, I need to get my protein in because <clears throat> James. So mixed herb chicken, cooked chicken breast, barbecue chicken breast. These are my favourite. I've loved these for so long. So I literally just eat like half a pack of that as a snack. Love it. Some parmesan. I saw this and got sucked into it. Potato salad. And you know when the sun comes out a little bit, I need to eat some fucking potato salad. It's a must. Squash. Summer fruits. And we also got some giant Sicilian nocellera olives. Did I say that right? I think I did. But I love olives and I love these big juicy boys. Oh, delicious. And then we got a watermelon. Like I said in the supermarket, I think there's a way of picking a watermelon. And can you like, guys let me know the way? Like if it has like, you know, oh, it's not supposed to sound hollow, is it? Mine does sound hollow, is that good or bad? Not my chicken wing flying. That's cute actually, look at my little arm. <laughs> and then we got some peach, mango and lime cider. This is such like a, the sun comes out for one day in England haul. Don't you think watermelon, mango, potato salad, 
cider. Oh. Then I also got some chocolate mm, with salted pretzel in. Oh, I love salty sweet things together. And when the ch when the chocolate has a bit of crunch, when I was little, right, I turned my nose up at whole nut and fruit and not dairy milk. And now I can't think of anything better. Like that, ugh, something to bite into. And you oh, it's great. It's wait, hold on. No, it's empty. It's empty. No, 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 no. I'm up a love in the and and and. So the vibes are. I need to tidy the house. So like I said, my mum came over on the weekend and we just started packing stuff up. So it's a little bit of a shit tip. There's things kind of everywhere. So I don't want to like clean it. Like, I just want to like put it to the side um, and make it a bit more tidy. I still haven't eaten food. What am I gonna eat? Mmm. Should I have wheat bix No. Mmm. Wheat bix but it's nearly lunch time. What am I gonna have for lunch? Oh, life's so hard. Basically, my oven, guys, is broken. My oven hasn't been working. Called my estate agents. Literally last week, no one's been in touch with me since. No one gives a fuck. This is why I hate estate agents, because you just do the leeches. I'm sorry if you're an estate agent. I'm sorry, babes. My oven's fucked. Like, this house is falling to bits. The shelf in the bedroom, fucked. Right, bearing in mind, the smoke thing was my fault, and I will cover that up. I'm going to paint over that. The shelf fell down. And it was a pointless shelf anyway. It wasn't even screwed into the wall. It had no purpose, right? Shelf fell down. The bracket on the back of my radiator fell off. I literally walked past it one day and grazed past it. The back of it fell off. My oven has stopped working. But it's like, the oven works. All the lights are on. But I turn it on and it happens. Uh, which reminds me I need to call them right now. I don't have a microwave. I don't have a microwave. Um, so I heat things up in the oven and the oven's broken. And the other day I cut up a lovely bun and squashed to roast and I couldn't even roast it. Cause the oven won't work it. Oh, first world problems over here, mate. Happy birthday! You cutie. Oh, I really like this. Like, you know one's ever bought me flowers? No one's ever bought you flowers. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna tell everybody I got a man. Yeah, that literally. Post on your story and be like, thank you so much, babe. It's okay. Thank you, it's okay. Guess what I did this morning? What did you do? So I've just done um, a little PR unboxing on my Instagram story, so I might as well do it for you guys as well because we I have some amazing stuff. And like in my last vlog, I'm gonna keep referencing the last vlog that never went out because the audio was all fucked up. I had so many parcels. I had a huge PR haul because I thought, oh, they're quite fun to open packages sometimes, and I'm super grateful for everything I get sent. And I do use a lot of it, and I give a lot to friends and family, and I put a lot of stuff in the giveaway pile, and I give a lot of stuff to the women's refuge that I work with locally. I think it's so fun to show you guys like the new stuff out there, and I think there's so many amazing brands nowadays. This first one is real crazy for me so it came in this stunning box and when i unboxed it i was like what is this so i love pink and orange together oh my days but it said cult beauty on it and i was thinking hold on what is going on here this is bougie i've unboxed it all now but it was all keys soul care so this is all alicia keys brand new skincare lifestyle brand I got sent like pretty much the whole skincare range from the Keys Soul Care range. Cannot wait to try this out. So it has an Alicia on the front. I love Alicia Keys music. I think she's so beautiful. I think the lifestyle she leads, like she's very holistic and spiritual and self-care. That's what it's all about. These are all the products that are inside. So we have an exfoliator, we have a face mask, we have a cleanser, we have a mist and we have a moisturizer. And it's giving bougie. Look at it. Glass. Oh my days. It's gorgeous. Now this stuff is like stunning. So this is going to get saved for the new flat. And it's going to have pride of place in the bathroom. In a nice little corner. Looking beautiful. Looking stunning. You know when you feel like you can't use something yet. Like when I get a nice candle or a nice diffuser. I'm like I can't use that yet. I have to save that for a special occasion. That's what I feel like. I'm gonna save this for the new flat to use it. And they all have affirmations on the bottles, which is adorable. So this one says, I am devoted to this moment. How sweet. So they all have different affirmations. So I'm gonna put them back in the boxes. You know what? I think this is a powder exfoliant, which I've never really used before, which is so interesting. Can't wait to use that. This one says, I am layered, complex and divine. Then this is a mist, which says, I am free as the air. I'm gonna spray a little bit. Smells lovely. It's very like, you know, you go to a spa, that kind of smell. It's giving luxury. We also have a harmony mask, which I think is kind of like, from the looks of it, it's kind of like a mud mask. 
Oh no, a medley of honey, activated charcoal and gold foil to purify and illuminate skin. This one says, I walk in my own strength. I love this. Then we have the moisturiser, which has hyaluronic acid in. You know, this isn't, obviously it's kind of expensive because I think a lot of skincare is expensive, but it's not as expensive as I thought it would be. So this um, moisturiser is £30, the mist is 22 the mask is 28 the cleanser is 20 and the exfoliator is 22 And that exfoliator, because it's a powder, it'll last you for ages, I think. So it's like, you know, it's bougie, but it's not crazy, crazy expensive. And this one says, I welcome all circumstances as catalysts for change. I love this. I think I'm going to film a self-care video soon, like just like spend a day doing a look because I have so much stuff I want to try. We could all try it together. Cool. So that was the first package from Cold Beauty. I got some stuff from this brand called She Wolf, which is a hair care brand. So we have an apricot butter pre-shampoo hydrating mask. Anything hydrating for my hair, I need it. And this is a, I don't know if I can say that word, Subaki. I think the T will be silent. Subaki. So obviously it's a hair oil. So they are both, uh, yeah, they're both sulfate and paraben free, which we love that. And then I got some stuff from It Cosmetics. I've wanted to try It Cosmetics for ages. So I have a little brush here. Love that. I have a mascara, superhero mascara. There we go. This is also a female owned, I own brand. I, I literally, um, What's it called? I interrupt myself so much. I'll be talking a sentence and I'll start saying something else. But I think I think it was It Cosmetics that was sold to L'Oreal. I basically watched a, a kind of a documentary recently about the owner of It Cosmetics. No, I was listening to a podcast and basically she was just told time and time again, like, you're not, you can't do this. You're not going to make it. We don't want to invest. I think she had like an investor and they pulled out the last minute and then she sold her company to L'Oreal for some crazy amount of money. And it's just like really an inspirational story about being a woman in business and going for what you want. And yeah, read up about the owner. She's been in, she's done a lot of like interviews and podcast interviews and I find her like really inspirational and interesting. We've got a primer. We also have um, a foundation, your skin but better foundation and skincare. So I guess it's like a BB cream maybe. Oh, I'm really into this. I used to never think I would like wear anything like this, but I'm really into this kind of stuff now. Oh, so it's actually in like a foundation bottle. Brow power filler, oh, a brow gel. I love brow gels. So this is just a little brow gel. I've actually used a Knit Cosmetics brow pencil before that I really liked, but that's the only Knit Cosmetics I've tried. And this, I'm so excited about this because I've wanted to try this. So it's the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream, Transforming Moisturising Super Cream. A lot of women I know bang on about this. Danielle Vanier, sorry, I'm pointing a knife at you. Wow, I really didn't mean to do that. Danielle Vanier and Callie Thorpe, my good friends. And they say this is absolutely incredible. So I cannot wait to try this. I hope it's like a nice thick. Oh, wow, that's satisfying. Looks like I just want to dip my face in it. Should I put it on my face right now? Okay, maybe I will. Just a little bit. Oh, it's thick. Mm. I love thick creams. But not so thick where it's like, you know when it's thick and it leaves a white um, residue. It's not kind of like that. It just feels so nourishing. This will be one of them ones that really hydrates your skin but doesn't make you look oily, I think. Or like too greasy. <gasps> Can't wait. Love it. Cool Beauty again, spoiling me. I love Cool Beauty. The best thing that ever happened to me was getting put on that PR list. We had some hair care come in from Cool Beauty. We have this, which is so cute. But I've um, heard of this brand before and they're called Bread. And I actually got sent some of their stuff when I think they first launched, um, and I did actually give it to my friend because my hair, my friend has way curlier hair than me. But these are like minis, so I gave her the big size of these. But I love the packaging because it's like so sustainable. Like it's not big plastic bottles; it's just in these little pouches. And they do like a sm this is the mini one, and they do bigger ones than this because I do think my it might be too heavy for my hair because it is for curl types three A to four C, and obviously I'm more like a two B to see if that on a good day i'm not sure i might try them but i'm just scared it might weigh my hair down a bit but at the same time i have really dry hair so it does need the moisturization so we'll see i think i'm going to give it a try and we'll see but obviously silicone sulfate free all of that good stuff um came this little thing and it had a silk scrunchie but i also gave that to my friend as well because i've got one oh no you can't i haven't got it in but they do a silk scrunchie that i um you wear all the time and I really love it. And then they also sent me the Scented Unwind Detangling Primer. I've already got one of these as well. So I'm going to probably put this in a giveaway pile. But it's basically just 
uh, detangling spray. And I love that because I get really knotty hair. So I've been using this, spray it all in, brush my hair out. Also, we've got some Boucle May Curls Redefined Root Refresh. I've never tried this brand, but I've heard that they're amazing for curly hair or wavy hair. Also this, this excites me because the packaging is, oh, love it. So it's the Way Curl Cream love that can't wait to try that if you guys have tried any of these products do let me know down below what you think of them and i think it's called briogeo briogeo um scalp revive or charcoal tea tree hydration scalp mask i need this i need it i love brio briogeo i'm just gonna say it like that i love this brand i had the I've tried some shampoo from them. I tried the curl cream and the curl gel. So good. Black owned hair brand, female owned. We love to see it. And lastly, I've got one more small business to share with you guys. And I had an email from this lovely lady who says she's actually like been a follower of mine for ages. And she basically started a business in lockdown and it's small independent beauty box subscription service that was so long-winded basically i'm going to show you i've taken the things out of the boxes now i'm going to put a little um i'll put in a little snippet from my story how it looked when it was all packed up it's called the indie box and they're like basically a subscription beauty box um like any of the other big ones but they focus on independent businesses so all the products inside are from independent um beauty businesses and i love that so if you're like you're looking to support small or you're looking for some like new businesses to support and find i think this is great this month's box was in collaboration with curate beauty so look girl power obviously it's women's month yeah they've got all the products in there talking all about it and basically i'm going to show you what we got so we got this holy grail beauty co charcoal no, I'm chatting shit. Holy Grail Beauty Co. Hibiscus and Pomegranate Detoxifying Clay Mask. So this is a face mask, a charcoal face mask. Oh, I'm not going to take the... Should we take this off? Ooh. Oh, oh my days. This smells incredible. When I see charcoal, I always think it's going to be like super thick and horrible, but it's kind of like... Can you see that? It looks so good. It smells incredible. Um... And it'll still probably looks like it'll be very hydrating. Botanical sensory facial mist from Blooming Blends. Mmm. Mmm. <sighs> smells like good vibes. You like essential oils and that kind of stuff. We have this Killy Beauty Gold. <laughs> we have this Killy Beauty Golden Skin Liquid Bronzer. I love this packaging, like the bamboo lid. And like, I don't know if you can see, but on. Oh, you know, in like the, the gloss of the name. Oh, this is giving bougie. This is beautiful. So I guess you can just like, I don't oh, I really shouldn't put this on my face right now because I've got no makeup on. Okay, it's pigmented. Wow, wow. Oh, wow, that's nice. Okay, I like that a lot. Very natural, blends in beautifully. This is like perfect summer makeup, like hot day makeup. You don't want anything too heavy. I'm really into that. I actually, when I was younger, I honestly used to turn my nose up at like, no makeup, makeup. But now that I really like try to look after my skin and stuff like that, I'm like, yeah, this is a vibe. We also have a nail polish by Nail Kind, vegan nail polish. Now, I don't really paint my nails, so I'm going to be giving this to a good friend that will paint the nails or to the women's refuge. But we love a nail polish brand, vegan and small business love that and then finally i'm really excited about this because recently for international women's day and summer sent me this huge box filled with like just presents for international women's day um and it had loads of small businesses in that box as well because the owner of Anne summers i've forgotten her name for some reason i feel like it's deborah but it might not be she works alongside a lot of small businesses and helps them and in, uh, invest and stuff like that so one of the small businesses that she works along with is the perfect v so in that and summer's like box um i got the perfect v exfoliator so this is obviously for your vagina area you know for the little triangle the little we're calling it mom's pubis aren't we but i like to call it the muffin so skincare for your for your foof so i have the exfoliator and this is the cream so this is like beauty cream like hydration for specifically for that area this is something that I didn't know I needed until now and I need it. It's formulated for the delicate skin of that area. Oh my goodness, it says use daily as part of your beauty vanicure regimen. 
I live. The innovation for me from the small businesses. I'm gonna um, film some work I need to get done right now. I'm gonna do a little bit of uh, my no makeup makeup and film some bits I need to film for work. Oh, I've done an ASOS order. Do you wanna see what I bought? Hello, I'm making dinner. And my dinner is a struggle meal. I'm literally, ugh. so I had this thing in my head. I was like, I'm gonna make king prawns in a garlic butter and on a nice piece of sourdough. And then as the time went on, I was like, no, I'm not. So now I'm eating pasta and tuna mayo. So, you know, it is what it is. Sometimes in life, you win and you lose. So I feel like today has gone so fast. It's half nine already. I can't get that song out of my head. He come in big prr, come make this pussy prr. Is that even the words? <sighs> Anywho's, that's pretty much me for the night. I need to do some emails. I need to get some stuff done. Because I feel like I've done a lot today, but at the same time, I, the day just went so quick. Hmm. Lots of thoughts in the head. I'm going to eat my tuna pasta and I'll see you in the AM, darling. Hey, it's me editing this video. And I didn't end the video because I didn't expect to end it right here. But I really hope you enjoyed this video. I feel like it's kind of different for me. You guys might not feel like it's different, but... I, like I said earlier in the video, I kind of can get in my head about picking up the camera and just recording because I'm like, oh no, the video has to be like a proper video. But I really enjoyed this video and I feel like you guys will enjoy it. So let me know your thoughts down below. I'm going to be going through heart in your comments talking to you guys. So thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Ah.